Hey, nerds! Today we're going to take a moment to discuss how we got to where and who we are today. Yesterday was my father's birthday. Side note, Robert, call Dad and wish him a happy birthday. Don't think you've done that yet. So yesterday, I got up, grabbed my keys, got in my car, and drove to surprise him at his birthday dinner. On the drive there, I started thinking about why we celebrate birthdays and what this day means to me. October 10th, 10, 10, 13 should just be any other day. I was thinking about what a birthday means to the individual as opposed to those helping to celebrate. I know what my birthday means to me. I think we all know what that feels like. Even if your attitude is apathetic towards your birthday, it still feels special in some way, right? It's an important day in your life because that's the day your life began. But what does someone else's birthday mean to us? What brings us together with a desire to celebrate this event? Most cultures around the world celebrate birthdays. Many simply use them as a way to count towards however they constitute adulthood. As you're both aware, my dad and I, putting it mildly, have not always seen eye to eye. What with the argument started and never solved, shouting contests, long weeks of deafening silence. But then there's the long conversations about philosophy, economics and history, teaching me to ride a bike, sharing the love of service and helping others. The good things do not always soften the bad, and the bad do not always spoil the good. I celebrate my father's birthday regardless of whether the negative outweighs the positive, or vice versa. I celebrate because without my father, I would not only not be here, but perhaps more importantly, I would not be the man I am today. Growing up with my father wasn't always the easiest. He tried hard to be fun, but his mind was often stuck in adult world trying to solve adult problems. But that wasn't his fault. He was trying to provide for a family. October 10th, 2013, an untold number of years ago, our father was born to Edna and Wilson Leatherman. Today we celebrate this. We were DC Field and Duke. Well, I won a gold glove in 1968 playing center field for the Red Sox. And you were a great coach. Well, good enough to serve as the hand for 2000. I'm eating something. <laughs> Happy birthday, old man. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> How are you? Good, you? All right. Mm. You coming to join us? I am. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> okay. Thank you. My father tends to see the world in black and white. Add to that my lifelong impulse control issues, and I couldn't have been the most fun to raise. He would try to do fun things with me, but time spent with my father was always accompanied by a lesson. All those good things and bad things... I've been able to find the lessons he was trying to instill in me. All my life, my father's been trying to teach me how to be a person, and in his own way, keep me safe. My dad taught me to be a person, and then I took those lessons, mixed them with experience, and learned to become a man. Perhaps that's why we celebrate birthdays. Not just for the birthday person, but to help us remember that that person has touched and shaped the way we've lived our lives. And Robert, that's why everyone does deserve birthday cake. I guess what I'm saying is, thanks, Dad. It hasn't always been fun. I'm sure you'd say the same, but it has always been great. Happy birthday.